Okay, so quite a couple of years back, I made a video explaining about recording the Sega Dreamcast in the best quality. It was released in 2016, showing a montage of Dreamcast footage captured in VGA. I even went ahead and gave it the title of Dreamcast in HD. Yeah, that video is very outdated, and I'm here to make a newer, more accurate one. So let's cover that, along with some extra details on the Sega Dreamcast this time. For a start, Dreamcast cannot output HD, so the title is completely untrue. For those curious though, Bob from RetroRGB has made a video talking about the DC Digital mod, which allows the Dreamcast to output real 1080p. Check that out if you're after true HD from the Dreamcast and not a misleading title. Anyway, here is what the Dreamcast can actually do for video. Dreamcast's best quality that it can crank out is a 640x480 image, resulting in 480p. It does this when a VGA connection or cable is connected. When hooked up directly to a monitor of VGA input, the results are really great. You go from a muddy display from your standard composite signal to a completely crisp and clear display. All you need is either a DC VGA box or even a cable specifically wired for it, and boom, the magic happens. However, the problem I had wasn't necessarily playing with Dreamcast VGA. That was all fine, but it was more trying to capture footage of it, particularly for capture devices like Elgato. You see, some capture devices only allow certain video signals, and the Dreamcast 640x480 sadly isn't an easy one. If you want to capture Dreamcast in VGA quality, you need to find a capture card that supports it, or even find a way to upscale the resolution. With me really wanting to capture VGA footage back in 2016, I did a lot of tampering and did actually find a solution. It was a very bizarre method, mind you, which consisted of an absolute spiderweb of tech for just one console. Here's how this experiment went. The setup had the Dreamcast itself plugged into a power outlet, which fed up to a DC VGA box. Out of that box was a VGA splitter, where one end connected directly to the PC monitor. This was so I could play with no lag in my own time. I then used a VGA to HDMI adapter on the other end, where it would feed out the signal into HDMI. It didn't convert it to HD, but instead passed 480p through digital HDMI. The adapter also had a stereo wire that plugged into the DC box to grab sound and pass it through. Not only that, but I had to upscale the SD480p to HD as well for the Elgato to recognise. So the HDMI went into this HDMI to HDMI upscaler to upscale it to a 720p slash 1080p signal. Yes, I had to convert HDMI to HDMI in order for this to work. The scaler would then finally feed out with another HDMI and directly into the Elgato capture card. And here's how it was. Talk about an absolute mess though. All that just to capture Sonic Adventure. But you know what? It worked. Well, kind of. It was indeed a solution, but it didn't really do it exactly right. The footage was a lot better than before, but it was also a bit dark and washed out. This is because I was pumping the Dreamcast signal into a cheap SCART to HDMI converter, and I've learnt that particular converter doesn't upscale games properly. So there was me in 2016 thinking I'd found the ultimate workaround, when in reality it was only good enough. However, in 2023, this problem has finally been solved, thanks to a new piece of kit I got. Introducing the Toro by the Bahar Bros, a little device that has two high quality outputs on it, being SCART and VGA. What makes this a step up though is the ability to send 480p through not only the VGA port, but SCART as well. Yep, that's right, SCART can surprisingly do 480p if done right. It especially helps with professional video upscalers like the RetroTINK 5X, as then the SCART can feed directly into it and correctly upscale it to HD resolutions. And well, we go from the footage looking like this, to this. Quite a big jump I'd say. Rayman 2 for the Dreamcast especially stands out well with this, as the game supports widescreen, so playing this on modern displays still looks pretty damn good. 
This is without a doubt one of the best ways to play Dreamcast for quality reasons. You get a crisp image and the colours look just right on both casual play plus capture. It's also the quickest and convenient way to get it right now, as I am aware about the two Dreamcast cables from Retro Gaming Cables and Retro Access, but good luck actually grabbing one as they seem to be out of stock a lot. Additionally, the Toro also has a neat little switch between VGA to RGB. The RGB feature is basically so you can run Dreamcast games that don't support VGA like Hydro Thunder, and it saves you having to swap out cables. Instead, you just flip the switch and done. And that's basically all I wanted to share in this video. The ability to capture Dreamcast VGA the proper way is now possible for me thanks to the Toro box, so all my problems are over. What used to be a jungle of wires for one console has decreased immensely, making it more convenient and it should do for you too. Anyway, thanks for watching and listening to me ramble on about wires. Bye.